So folks, I saw in the Arena Creator chat that actually something is coming on Friday. I didn't know what because uh, they didn't reveal it, but it seems like that the information has been leaked to iStream. And I wanted to talk about this topic, but it just doesn't make sense for me to record a oh my god, there's going to be a skin in the game type of thing because iStream's video is being watched by thousands of you already and uh, that video wouldn't be a news type of video. But I still want to talk about it and I decided to do a reaction type of video. And by the way, I love how, you know, iStream is hyping the audience and... To be honest, on, on this picture, uh, he seems to be a bit tired looking at his eyes. But anyways, I love what he's doing for the community. Uh, he is so full with energy and uh, this type of video actually suits him. I like his gameplays as well, but I also like when he's doing the guys. Oh my God, you know, something's going to come. Uh, I can't tell you the world is going to explode, maybe or maybe not. Uh, and then he's just staring into the camera. So anyways, back to the topic, skins in Arena Breakout. So my thinking was that it's just a matter of time when skins are going to be introduced. And actually, I love the fact that we're going to get a knife skin. And knife skins are perfectly fine. I absolutely agree with iStream, uh, who was saying that it would kind of ruin the game if you would have pink elephants or what was it they saying? Uh, rain... Um, what was it pink rainbows or whatever anyways so you get it if if the developers don't go wild and they don't do like purple you know recoloring or such then i think skins are perfectly welcome interesting because i think this is more of a sword like i stream also said it's not really a knife but um and overall i i think it's a very good start to introduce skins I would love to see a Karen bit, for example. I, I would love that, but this is a very nice start. But generally speaking, Arena Breakout and skins, I, d I think they don't have so many options as other developers have for other games like uh, Fortnite or such. And I think if they are not crossing the line, you can still do fancy stuff without like making it unreal. If if we keep the game real or cl close to reality and add stuff that could be actually used by military, I think that's going to be welcomed by players. Like you could have um, different recolors of weapons. Obviously, you cannot change the, the the actual look of the guns because that would make it very messy to have like an M4 that looks differently for you. It just doesn't make sense. But recoloring is something I think we're gonna get. I saw we have the camouflage. I'm not actually sure if we can actually use that somehow. I think no, but I would assume that we're gonna have different versions of the guns, like realistic um, versions, like maybe a green, a dark green, a gray, uh, different shades of black or gray or whatever and i think if you're gonna have that camouflage look and desertish look people are going to love that and that's going to make your characters unique and let me stop here for a moment i'm gonna put the knife on screen because i want to talk about that uh, in more detail i think there are certain players who don't care about the skin at all i mean Usually people do, but there is a percentage of players who say that I don't care, even if it's just default, I'm focusing on the gameplay. I don't care how I look like, I don't care what my name is and so on. But I think majority of players actually care and they care because they want to be unique. They want to stand out. And I think that's perfectly fine. I mean, I don't have any issues with that if it's not being overdone, because I don't think that any of the skins in any of the games is worth like thousand dollars or five thousand or even more no if it's like 10 bucks or something and it makes you feel good then why not and actually you can look at like that you are supporting the developers and you are adding to the success of the game if you are purchasing something i couldn't play with a name like i don't know frozen tomato or something um i i like to be shady fox and i always wanted to be like i mean i always wanted to have a character and a skin which, which I like. I don't feel that extra energy if I'm playing with a character that looks bullshit. So to me, I mean, I think I'm um, not 
anywhere near to the to the um, high spectrum or low end spectrum so it does matter somewhat but it doesn't highly impact the way i play or think so if it's not going to cost a fortune i'm definitely going to buy it and uh looking forward to see additional skins uh, that are being released and obviously i'm curious to hear your opinion about skins in arena breakout um are you gonna pick them up are you gonna purchase them yes no what's your opinion about skins in general all kind of stuff is welcome um, and as you know i'm trying to reply to all of the comments any thought is welcome there is no good or bad i'm listening to all of you if you haven't already then guys you know subscribe share like ring the bell whatever and um, as always happy gaming see you in the next one cheers bye